All right, come on, baby, let's go. One, two, woohoo! Well, I believe break time is over. Time to get to work. Got several things I need to get started on, so let's get to it. Won't be long, I'll wake it on up. She'll be shining like a new penny again. Can't wait. Won't be long, I'm gonna actually uh, dethatch this area right here. And uh, I wanna show you something. I wanna do something pretty cool right here. Let me show you. Need to clean this thing shed up. Good gracious alive. All right, you know my little battery powered Allet reel mower right here. I've actually got a dethatcher that comes with it. I'm gonna give it away. I just don't, I don't know, I just don't use it a whole lot like I thought I would. Once I renovate all this out here and turn it all to Kentucky Blue, I'm obviously gonna wanna reel mow, it, mow that at some point in time. And whoo, this is uh, it's 12, 12,000 square feet back here. It will take me forever to mow with that. So the chances of me getting another big wide gas powered reel mower is pretty good. So I'm not gonna need that. Give me a minute, let me figure out how I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna give it away to somebody. Now before we get into this real good, you know, pre-emergent applications are right around the corner. I'm about two, maybe three weeks away from doing mine. Of course, I'll video all that and everything, but you wanna get prepared for that early so you have the stuff on hand. Look in the description below. I've done a little write-up uh, that I send out to my email list, and uh, my email list is down there too, and if you're interested in being on that email list, you can sign up for that. And then I want you to look at that pre-emergent write-up I did, and that's the type of thing that I send out on my email list. So it's, it's down there if you want to check it out. Hey there, it's Pete with GCI Turf. Hope you're having a great day today. Uh, matter of fact, I hope God blesses your socks off today. Now look, typically we do grass stuff, okay? Uh, I'll show uh, fertilizer, weed control, mowing, striping, uh, how to make the grass look good and all that kind of thing. From time to time, I'll do some things on plants and I'm in no way, shape or form an expert on plants and horticulture and all that kind of thing. Uh, what I've learned over the years is just me paying attention, uh, riding down the road, looking at houses, saying, huh, that looks pretty good right there. I think I'd like that. Doing my homework and then applying it to my yard. Now, I know in the title of the video, it says the best border plant. Well, I want to make one thing clear that my opinion isn't going to always be the best opinion. It's just my opinion. And, and what I mean by when I say the best border plant, I mean it's my favorite border plant. Out of all the border plant options that I have, I like the variegated Lorape. And as you can see right here, uh, it's middle of January and it's, it's not looking its best. It's not supposed to look at its best right now. Uh, typically, <clears throat> this is going to thrive during the summer of the year. Uh, like some of that heat and it'll take off and grow good. Uh, at the end of, uh, let's see, I want to say around the end of July, in August sometime in that time frame, it will put off a little bloom and you can see here's the uh, remnants of that and of course the bloom is just some kind of went away it has a really really nice cool purple flower that it you know kind of stands up above it and when the plants kind of bushy and thriving and uh, full of life uh, when it blooms it, it adds a little color uh, the main reason I got it here is just a border to separate my turf and my beds and just kind of give it a little more aesthetic appeal now there's a few different varieties of Liripe and I'm not 100% uh, sure what the actual scientific names of them are and all that. I do know that this is a variegated variety. As you can see, it's got the, the couple of different colors involved in it. And the other one, I want to say it's called a Big Blue, maybe. Uh, if I'm wrong about that, somebody comment and correct me. Uh, but it's more of a spreading type. You can see this one 
grows in a nice solid chunk at the base of this plant it's probably about I'm gonna say that's about 14 inches across from this side of the plant over to this side of the plant it's roughly about 14 inches and then you can see when it's full size it's about one two that's roughly two foot wide from tip over here to tip so that is going to be full size full grown it's not likely to get much bigger than that might yeah it might grow a little bit but it's not gonna uh get out of hand by no means a little backstory on my variety this all come from my mom's house i don't know where she got it i don't know if she bought it at a nursery or if it come from another family member house or i have no idea of the backstory beyond where i got it from but I've always liked it. You know, when I was living at home, it's, this Larapia is very old too. It was there when I was living at home. So it's an old plant. So that, that's kind of a testament of how it will withstand the test of time is, uh, you know, it's not likely to just die off. It's super duper hardy. I mean, super hardy. Uh, it can survive droughts like crazy. It handles snow, ice, the whole nine yards. It's just a great all around border plant. And everything you see here, all this around uh, this area right here, all that in front of the house I've got, and even over there at the end of the driveway, every bit of this started with about 15 plants, maybe 20. What I mean by that is I actually dug up five or six roughly from my mom's house dug them up and chopped them up into smaller pieces and then come out here and plant them and you can see how aggressive they are and how big they've gotten in, in a relatively short amount of time that leads me to another thing that i like about them is once you plant them they're free okay you have to acquire them first time but once you plant them and let's say you want to transfer them somewhere else or make new beds and add this you really don't have to go buy new ones you just transplant what you have maintenance on them is uh really really easy uh, you basically want to cut them back to around four inches or so and that's what we're going to do today mm. oh christmas christmas wreath i don't know where that thing i guess it comes from up yonder so we're going to cut them back today and then uh, I'll do another video on digging them up and, and quartering them because we're going to take some of these to the shop office and plant them there uh, where I got the Bermuda grass at. So it's pretty simple. Uh, of course I got a whole lot of it here uh, so I'm going to use my, my bigger mower, my walk behind and use the bagger. I don't want to throw this stuff all over the place. I'm going to go really, really slow, creep, go super slow, and let it really take its time and cut it uh, clean. Now, if you've got smaller areas of this, or maybe you have one or two of them and not a lot of them, uh, it's as simple as taking some scissors or something like that. Heck, you can even, you can even take your pocket knife. Uh, the guys do that at work from time to time. Uh, when they got one little clump here, just take a pocket knife and cut it back. Now the bagger fills up pretty quick with this stuff. So see it started making a mess. kind of see once I've cut it now you can look right here the mower doesn't quite catch all this around the edge now obviously you could leave that but I'm, I'm a little anal so I'm gonna take my string trimmer I'm gonna edge out around each one of them like that and give me a nice little clean cut that way when I put my fresh pine needles down I can get them all the way up against the base right there you can see this one right here this one's a little bit worse and 
you know one like that you definitely want to cut it but um, for the most part it ain't too bad the mower does a good job uh, but it does leave a little bit around the edges right there now once I do that I'll take my blower and lightly blow the remainder of everything out here in the turf right there and I'll just take my mower and go right around it and vacuum all that mess up so now you can see the difference between this one and this one see how it just kind of neatens it up and cleans it up a little bit and this is kind of what the finished product will look like and uh, again I'll I'll come in here and lightly blow out that stuff right there and blow it in the grass and pick it up with my mower. I'm telling you, that first cut does not get old to me. Now, technically, this isn't the first cut, but you can kind of see, oh, this gets me excited. Um, I'm pretty much ready to rock and roll on the yard now. All right, well, there you go. Everything's nice and cleaned up. Now, there, there might be a little bit of debris left in the beds here and there, but with pine needles, it's difficult to get every single last thing out. The cool thing is, um, close to putting down my new pine needles and I can just cover that stuff right up. So that's my take on liriope. And uh, it's a cool plant. You can do a lot of different things with it. You can almost plant it anywhere. Uh, I don't have any full shade areas out here. Maybe uh, over there under the crepe myrtles that may be, that's probably considered semi-shade and it does exceptionally well over there. Um, full dense 100% shade not real sure about that uh, simply because I don't have an area out here that uh, is like that but full sun water no water doesn't matter uh, they do very good uh, they're very hardy as far as fertilizer goes when I transplant one uh, I'll usually water it in with some green pop uh, to kind of get it going a little bit and then uh, from time to time, I'll put a little floral green on them. It's not often, uh, simply because the plant, this particular plant, doesn't really require a lot of maintenance. That's actually one of the coolest things about it is they look pretty good uh, when they're placed in the right spot. They require little to no maintenance other than this once a year cutting them back and uh you can you can multiply them like crazy uh, again, I'm just going to come in here and take a shovel dig those up uh take a i've got like a hand saw and i'll just take the the block of uh, liriope and i'll just saw it and then turn it and saw it again and quarter it cut it up into four quarters and then uh take them to the shop plant them and they will they'll take off so if you watch the video looking for an update on everything that's happening uh things are still a little bit they're not full speed yet as far as logistics and shipping and all that kind of thing things are still a little bit behind uh, so i'm still waiting on some parts to come in for the spray buddy um, the guides they're super close to being ready the guide will have four versions in it the estate version which is geared toward big yards the uh, beginner version which is bare bones uh, somebody's just starting off in the yard the liquid version which is going to use uh, mainly the Green County products and then the elite version which is going to be a granular plus liquid program and that's going to be more for the person who wants to go all out and do more like what I do to my yard 
So you guys with really big yards that's been emailing me, asking me if you've already bought the cool season guide in the past, are you gonna get it even though I'm adding this new estate version? The answer is yes, you are, so you don't have to buy it again. And that's the same with any update we ever do. The updates are always free, you don't have to buy it a second time. So hey, I appreciate you watching. Thank you for taking time out of your day. And uh, if you were browsing through looking for yard videos and you're trying to figure out this whole yard thing, uh, I've been in business for 18 years now and been growing turf for the majority of that time. And that's what I do here is I try and teach the DIY crowd and showing uh, the, the Joe, Joe Smo homeowner, you know, like myself, how to have a nice yard using professional grade products. Say so again, appreciate you watching. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I don't know what I'm gonna do right now. I've uh, been a little lazy lately, to be honest with you, on the videos, so I'm gonna go find something to video and start another one. Check you later.